Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics. Today we're going to create a grid view using Nucleus and Xamarin iOS. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to open up a new solution. We'll do iOS iPad single view. Let's just call it grid sample and hit OK. Next, we're going to have to add some sample data right into the project. To do that, we'll just do Add Files, add the files from the desktop, and then just select that and make a copy. We're going to need photos for this grid view, so we'll add those as well. Xamarin Studio is going to ask us if we want to copy them into the folder, which we do. So we'll hit yes and include them all. Next, we'll open up our view controller and we're going to have to add a reference. So let's add a reference to our grid DLL. The easiest way to find that is to just go to your developer directory, infragistics slash nucleus monotouch, and we'll select ig.dll. Then we'll need to add a using statement pointing to the infragistics namespace. Next, we'll create our grid view in the viewDidLoad method. This snippet will create a brand new grid view with flexible size. When you rotate the grid view, it will automatically resize to the orientation of the device. Then we're going to add our data source. A data source is what actually is used to display the data. We have this IG salesman item, which is what we added to the project previously, and it's just first name, last name, image, and some data that's randomly generated. We're just going to use this helper class to generate 200 random data items so that we have something to display. Now the IG salesman item data has to be an NS object. So when we run the simulator here, you'll see the grid view gets displayed with our data. There we go. It's not really the most visually stunning right now, so let's see if we can spruce it up a little bit. One of the things we can do is we can actually use an image column for our data source helper. Let's do that quickly, because all we have to do is add that as a column definition. A column definition is basically just mapping to the image property of the data source of the IG salesman item data that we created. Now we'll run that. Our images are in, but there's still more we can do, so let's go ahead and use a theme. Just like this. Now we've got the grid looking even better. Now let's see if we can change it up completely, like we did before, and actually swap out the IG data source helper with our single field multi-column data source helper. What that will do is use one field as opposed to multiple columns. So now we're going to map it to our image column, which we had just created. Like that. If we run it now, it's looking great. Now let's see if we can make it look as nice as the example you saw at the start of this demo. What we'll do here is set the row height equal to 150. And on top of that, we'll set some properties on the column. For text field key, we'll have some text display that will map that to our first name property and our data. Then for our text alignment, we'll use UI Text Alignment Center. Now, when we run this for the final time, you'll see that with a few lines of code, you can create a great looking grid. So that's what's in development. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos using Nucleus and Xamarin iOS.